dear students i want to make a short presentation about ziegler natta polymerizations myself dr digna vargis ziegler natta catalyst polyethylene is one of the most abundant synthetic polymer it is produced industrially by the polymerization of ethylene here n number of ethylene molecule is taken which undergo polymerization reaction and forming polyethylene the polymerization reaction is exergonic and the reaction requires catalyst the main catalyst used for this polymerization technique is philips catalyst in the early 1950s workers at philips petroleum discovered that chromium catalyst are highly effective for the low temperature polymerization of ethylene which launched major industrial technologies culminating in the philips catalyst philips catalyst is a heterogeneous catalyst it consists of chromium oxide supported on silica gel this is the structure of philips catalyst it is a heterogeneous catalyst it consists of chromium oxide supported on a silica gel another catalyst used for the polymerization reaction is ziegler natta catalyst and the third one is the metrosine based catalyst for specialty polymers that is actually derived from the ziegler natta catalyst a kamenski catalyst is a catalytic system for the alkene polymerization kamenski catalysts are based on metrosines of group four transition metals such as titanium zirconium hafnium activated with methyl aluminoxane mao one of the metrosine based catalyst is shown here it is a titanium based catalyst so there are main catalyst three main catalysts used for the polymerization reactions in the earlier days philips catalyst then comes ziegler natta catalyst and further research introduces a new catalyst that is metrosine based catalyst for specialty polymers ziegler natta catalyst is a heterogeneous catalyst heterogeneous catalyst is used in catalysis where the phase of catalyst differs from that of the reactants or products so it can easily separate from its product but it have a low selectivity that is its disadvantage this catalyst require rather high temperature and pressures and frequently lead to mixture of products that means it has a lower selectivity ziegler natta catalyst have been used in the commercial manufacture of various polyolefins since 1956 a ziegler natta catalyst named after karl ziegler and julio natta they got nobel prize in chemistry in 1963 karl waldmer ziegler was a german chemist and julio natta an italian chemist Ziegler Natta catalysts are employed in alkene polymerization. Ziegler Natta catalysts are used in the synthesis of polymers of one alkenes that is alpha olefins or terminal alkenes. Ziegler discovered that a combination of titanium tetrachloride and diethyl aluminum chloride gave comparable activities for the production of polyethylene at the same time natta in italy used crystalline alpha titanium trichloride in combination with triethyl aluminum 
to produce first isotactic polypropylene. In 1963, they got both Carl Siegler and Julio Nata got Nobel Prize for this discovery. So the catalyst used for the polymerization that is known as Ziegler Nata catalyst. Usually Ziegler catalyst refers to titanium based systems for conversions of ethylene and Ziegler Nata catalyst refer to systems for conversions of propylene. In the 1960s, BASF developed a gas phase mechanically stirred polymerization process for making polypropylene. In 1968, the first gas phase fluidized bed polymerization process, the Unipol process, was commercialized by Union Carbide to produce polyethylene. Vapor phase polymerization or gas phase polymerization or gas fluidized bed polymerization is a widely used polymerization technique for gaseous monomers like low density polyethylene, high density polyethylene, polytetrafluoroethylene and polyvinyl chlorides. This is first introduced by the union carbide and the advantage of the method is that it does not require any diluent. No residual catalyst remains in the resin, granulate or powder which is continuously removed from the reactor. This is one of the diagram for the fluidized bed reactor. In 1973, a second generation Ziegler Nata catalyst introduced with the titanium trichloride purple phases at the lower temperature. In 1975 to 1978, a third generation catalyst supported on magnesium chloride commercialized by many companies. In 1977 to 1980, Kaminsky and Sin discover the high activity metallocene single site catalyst SSCS using methyl aluminoxane MAO as co catalyst. In 1991, the fourth generation of Ziegler Nata catalyst based on aluminium oxane activated metallocene complexes used. In 1997, Montel, Lionel Basel commercialized polypropylene based on fifth generation Siglar Nata catalyst that use 1,3-diethase and succinate as donors. We can see several polymer catalysts are produced by the researchers. After the discovery of the Ziegler Nata catalyst, they from 1963 onwards, several researchers are doing to produce more effective catalysts for polymerization. So they are known as second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation, etc. And the research is going on. Two broad classes of Ziegler Nata or Isidane catalyst are employed distinguished by their solubility. That is first one the most common method that is heterogeneous supported catalyst based polymerization which is based on the titanium compounds are used in polymerization reactions in combination with co-catalyst that is organo aluminium compounds such as triethyl aluminium TEAL next category based on the solubility is homogeneous catalyst which is usually based on complexes of titanium zirconium or hafnium 
They are usually used in combination with a different organo aluminum catalyst, co catalyst, methyl aluminoxane or methyl alum oxane MAO. These catalysts traditionally contain metalocene but also feature multi dentate oxygen and nitrogen based ligands. Heterogeneous supported catalyst dominates the industry because it is more easier to separate the catalyst from the products than the homogeneous catalyst. So most of the industry still using the heterogeneous supported catalyst. Preparation of Ziegler Nata catalyst titanium tetrachloride treated with triethyl aluminium and we will get Ziegler Nata catalyst. The rectangle shows the vacant coordination site or a lone pair occur in the titanium metal. This is the Ziegler Nata catalyst. One of the ethane is eliminated from this and diethyl aluminium trichloride is coordinated to the metal center and it is act as the co-catalyst and TiCl3 is the major or active component of the catalyst. The reaction is such that TiCl4 titanium tetrachloride reacts with triethyl aluminium and giving diethyl aluminium chloride TiCl3 C2H5. Ethylated titanium trichloride undergoes dissociation giving hydrogen chloride, ethene and titanium trichloride. Again, the titanium trichloride ethyl derivative is treated with hydrogen chloride and forming ethane and titanium tetrachloride. Then, titanium tetrachloride combines with titanium trichloride, giving the active component titanium trichloride. TiCl3 is the active species in Ziegler Nata catalyst. Titanium is in the plus 3 oxidation state in Ziegler Nata catalyst. Ziegler Nata catalysts are used to polymerize terminal alkenes. The Ziegler Nata catalyst involves the reactions that are seen in coordination polymerizations, which generally include complexes that are formed between a transition metal and the pi electrons of a monomer. Here the monomer is ethylene or alkene. So the reaction is such that ethene taken to polymerize in the presence of a Ziegler Nata catalyst giving polyethene or polyethylene. Mechanism of Ziegler Nata catalysts. Here the cosy almond mechanism in polymer chemistry is the main pathway for the formation of carbon-carbon bonds in the polymerization of alkenes. The mechanism features an intermediate coordination complex that contains both the growing polymer chain and the monomer. We know the monomer is alkene. These ligands combine within the coordination of the metal to form a polymer chain that is elongated by two carbons. The mechanism of Ziegler Nata catalysis, the most popular mechanism is Cosy Allman mechanism, in which the formation of carbon carbon bonds by the pol in the polymerization of alkenes. The mechanism shows an intermediate of coordination complex that in which 
metal has a vacant coordination site and or extremely labile ligand can accommodate in this site that can be replaced by the reactant or monomer molecule in the step 1 or step I shown here which involves the binding of the monomer that is we know the monomer is alkene that coordinate to the vacant site so it is a an intermediate coordination complex forms and this in step 2 this alkene undergoes a migratory insertion step that is one two insertion step these steps which alternate from one side of the metal center to the other and which are repeated for several times for more 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 and more monomer units are added to this this step is repeated again and again and creates vacant coordination sites so again we can add one monomer to it and it is again the same steps repeated and finally the beta elimination occurs and the product forms or termination of the product occurs so this is the cosy allman mechanism in a simple way the cosy allman mechanism describes the function of ziegler natta catalyst the catalyst is prepared by the reaction with triethyl aluminium and titanium tetrachloride to form a fibrous material titanium trichloride ethyl derivative and also diethyl aluminium chloride is formed here diethyl aluminium chloride is used as co-catalyst the alkyl aluminium alkylates the titanium atom on the surface of the solid and an ethene molecule coordinates to the neighboring vacant site here the titanium tetrachloride is alkylated by the alkyl aluminium compound to this the vacant coordination site the monomer that is alkene is coordinated in the propagation steps for the polymerization the coordinated alkene undergoes a migratory insertion reaction this migratory insertion reaction opens up another neighboring vacancy and so the reaction can continue with the polymer chain can grow here a vacancy so that the ethene molecule can coordinate to the metal site and after this coordination there is a migratory insertion of alkene and opens up a vacant coordination site here to this another monomer units can be added so the reaction can continue and the polymer chain can grow so here the monomer alkene again added to the vacant coordination site and a complex is formed and after that 
the same step repeated that is a migratory insertion occurs and the length of the carbon carbon chain increases by the addition of the monomer units and the process is repeated again and again the polymer chain length increases after that it the process repeat many times after that we get the final product by the release of the polymer from the metal atom occurs by beta hydrogen elimination and the chain terminates we get the final product as CH2 bond CH2 there is n number of molecules we will get here polyethylene okay this is possible this is hexagonic reaction so this is possible in the presence of catalyst here we are using the Ziegler Natta catalyst and the mechanism is known as Cosi Alman mechanism and the first step is the initiation step that is the uh, generation of the catalyst and by the addition of alkene form a coordination complex so it is known as the coordination polymerization and this undergo one two insertion reaction and creates another vacancy and the monomer can again join to this vacancy by coordination and this process is repeated many times and final termination occurs by beta hydrogen elimination and we will get the final product as polyethylene the mechanism explains once again the alkyl aluminium alkylates a titanium atom on the surface of the solid and an ethene molecule coordinates to the neighboring vacant site in the propagation steps of the for the polymerization the coordinated alkenes undergo a migratory insertion reaction this migration opens up another neighboring vacancy and so the reaction can continue and the polymer chain can grow and the third step the release of the polymer from the metal atom occurs by beta hydrogen elimination and then chain terminates factors affecting the Ziegler Natta polymerization is the 1 2 insertion and uh, beta elimination first after the coordination of the monomer to the metal there is 1 2 insertion occurs after that elimination occurs and product forms 1 2 insertion generate a vacant site on the metal which is usually filled by the ligand here the ligand is the monomer that is the alkene beta elimination is a chemical reaction in which atoms or groups are lost from adjacent atoms resulting in a new pi bond for example in a general case a b c d a plus b double bond c plus d this is actually a general representation for the beta elimination importance of Ziegler Natta polymerization in this reaction titanium does not have a filled coordination sphere and acts like a Lewis acid accepting ethylene or propylene as another ligand
the polymerization using Sigler Nutter catalyst operates at moderate temperatures and pressure to lead the formation of a stereoregular polymer. Always heterogeneous catalyst or uh, the temperature reaction condition is high temperature and pressure but here in this case of Sigler Nutter catalyst we can operates the polymerization process at moderate temperature and pressure and forming a stereoregular polymer. In this process isotactic polymer is formed that is a long linear head to tail chains consisting of sequences of monomeric units having the same steric arrangements. The stereoregularity conveys greater mechanism strength to the polymer. It is a high strength polymer is obtained because of it is stereoregular polymer. What is a stereoregular polymer? Isotactic and syntactic polymers are referred to as stereoregular polymers. We, we can see from the figure isotactic all the substituents are in the same same substituents are in the same side. Syntactic means they are in the alternate positions. Attactic means there is a random arrangement. In the case of isotactic and syntactic, there is a stereoregularity. So these polymers are referred to as stereoregular polymers. They having an ordered arrangement of pentent groups along the chain. A polymer with a random orientation of groups or substituents is said to be a tactic. Stereoregular polymers are usually high strength materials because the uniform structure leads to a close packing of the polymer chains and a high degree of crystallinity. The catalyst systems employed to make stereoregular polymers are now referred to as Ziegler Nata catalyst. More recently, new soluble organometallic catalyst, termed metallocene catalyst, have been developed that are much more reactive than conventional Ziegler Nata catalyst. Characterization of tacticity. Tacticity means that is relating to the arrangement or order of the molecules that is that word comes from the Greek word tacticos which means the relating to the arrangement or order tacticity is the relative stereochemistry of adjacent chiral centers within a macromolecule macromolecule means polymer it's a big molecule The practical significance of tacticity rests on the effects on the physical properties of the polymer that can be in expressed in terms of solubility etc. The steric order is called tacticity. In other terms the steric order is called tacticity. There are three common tactic forms that is isotactic means that all the asymmetric carbons in the polymer have the same configuration. Syntactic means that the asymmetric carbons have alternate configuration. Attactic means that is the asymmetric carbons have random orientation. Characterization of tacticity in polymer if it is a isotactic one or a syntactic one we can use some method to characterize whether this polymer is isotactic or syntactic or a tactic that is comes from the solubility method or XRD method that is X-ray diffraction method infrared spectroscopical studies and also from thermal properties thermogrammetric analysis etc and the most important one is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy NMR by these methods we can identify whether the molecule is whether the polymer molecule is 
stereo regular which tactic form it adopts what are the applications of sigler natter catalyst the sigler natter catalyst polymerization is a beneficial and versatile reaction for producing polymers some of the most popular application of this catalyst are they are used for the production of high and low density polyethylene and used for the production of thermoplastic polyolefins polybutylene crystalline polypropylene and carbon nanotubes nanocomposites etc and some limitations of sigler natter catalyst one is sigler natter polymerization has some limitation as it does not work for all monomers because we we can use polymerization using the monomers how terminal alkenes less control of growing polymer branching due to multiple metal sites on the transition metal sometimes branching may happens because there it can multiple metal sites of the transition metal to this the monomer can coordinate to the metal so sometimes branching may happen encapsulation effect of polymer chains some encapsulation may also happen by this process these are some limitations and applications of sigler natter catalyst thank you for your patience and attention